We're in the middle of the research now, just started on cow peas. Cow peas in the south are fantastic deer food. The only problem is that <clears throat> if you don't plant them in April, late April, early May, when they come up and get those two, first two leaves, the deer will go blump and they're gone because there's so many deer. So if you, you gotta have a lot of land or you gotta have less deer, but we're gonna come, I'll show you a solution to that that you're gonna love here in a minute. But anyway, we're, doing, we're testing out a lot of different varieties of cow peas right now. In the north, we, we grow uh, soybeans. Biggest problem in summer food plots, first of all, you can't grow a summer food plot if you don't have at least 30, 30 inches of rainfall in a year. If you don't have 30 inches of rainfall, feed, okay? All right, <clears throat> one of the biggest problems is, gr is grass weed competition. Deer do not eat grass. How do we get the grass out of our plot? Because they'll choke them out. Well, we did some work on that too. We found out <clears throat> that a non-restricted herbicide called Fusilade, 12 ounces per acre, kills only grass. And here's a cow pea uh, planting that was dominated by Johnson grass, and now those cow peas are free, and we killed the Johnson grass with 12 ounces of Fusilade. Not a thing to the soil, it's not soil active. But it's not increasing uh, alkaline, like salinity or alkalinity or? No, it's, a, it's approved for food use, yeah. Uh, here's something we found out by accident. This is a clover chicory plot up north. We, uh, we found out that up to 22 ounces of Roundup would not kill chicory and clover. And it also won't kill cow peas. So we, there's another one we got to kill weeds, not just grasses, but. No, it will not. 22 ounces. 22 ounces. We sprayed this, this right away of this electric fence we're going to talk about in a minute. And, la and the cowpeas laughed it off. What if you can't plant? You've got all kinds of wonderful plants out there like honeysuckle in East Texas. You've got a lot of shrubby plants in South Texas and also in the hill country, greenbrier, stuff like that. Fertilize them. Fertilize native plants. What about planting fruit trees for energy? Pears are the best one to plant. Pears are well adapted uh, geographically. They are drought hardy. Where did pears come from? Persia, Iraq. They came out of the desert. They're a very drought hardy plant and they're very productive and deer love them. Here's some enjoying some of our pear plantings up to the facility. They're big, but they roll them around. <clears throat> but we got something better now. Do you always need to protect the front of something? Always. Always need to. I'm going to cover that here in just one second. Absolutely. This is fantastic. This is the new Dr. Deer pear. It's the only one in the world. I, fa I produced it by accident. I tried to kill it several times. <laughs> God wouldn't let me. Okay? It produces hundreds of small round fruit that hang on until January and February. Okay? So what have we done? We took cuttings last February. <clears throat> they were little buds last February. Here they were last week. And so we now got 80. And when we, next year at this time we'll have a lot more than 80. So we'll have them. And it's a very it's it's a really cool pair and it'll produce forever. I've been working with Robert Wallace with Dun uh, Dunstan uh, for Dunstan chestnuts. His grandfather was the guy who found the, uh, you, I don't know if you know or not, but the chestnut was the greatest ecological disaster in the history of North America. 60% of the eastern forest was once made up of chestnuts till the blight got here. Then they all went away and with them went the passenger pigeon. It wasn't hunters, it was chestnuts. Okay. Everything ate chestnuts. Humans, bears, deer. Everybody thinks that deer prefer acorns over anything else. Acorns really are a second choice food to white-tailed deer. They just don't have the first ones anymore, the chestnuts. Chestnuts do not have tannins in them. There's a chestnut right here. These are great. You can take these, break them open, and eat them, and they taste like butter. And this is a chestnut plant, and they, they start dropping fruit 
uh, in August, September. So what we're working on now is a, is a suite of plants that will grow and drop fruit over a long period of time. And here's a Dunstan chestnut that is drought, I mean, uh, blight resistant. That's a two-year-old plant. They'll start making fruit in four to five years, as will a sawtooth oak. But like you pointed out, <clears throat> on all of these fruit trees, when you plant them, you got to do the following things. Put a cage around them. Bucks love to rub them. And, uh, and you'll regret it. We also put a, put a ground cloth down for competition. And we put a tree tube around it to keep the rats and stuff out of it. And if you do that, it will reward you very much. And they're very, very drought hardy, by the way. So we did a test. We constantly do tests. Deer in East Texas have not seen chestnuts in 150 years. Okay? They love acorns, so we did some more camera te preference tests like the feeders that Ben talked about. So we put chestnuts and we put acorns out. <clears throat> All right, here's an acorn site. And the deer weren't really that impressed with it. Now, deer are coming to eat acorns eventually, but this is the first day. Here is the chestnut site the first day. These deer have genetically have never been exposed to a chestnut. Did the deer grow that big overnight too? <laughs> no, I haven't been able to do that. Yet. Yet. Yeah. Let's watch him eat them. That's the first time he came by. He came over and I ate him. And uh, now, uh, I mean, we're helping Robert with his, with his uh, trees. Now you gotta get in line and, uh, to buy the trees. You can only, you're limited to so many, but there's gonna be more and more. We've got some 12-year-old stands at, that are producing 15,000 pounds per, per acre. So. How big a tree does he get? Gets up 60, 80 feet tall. <laughs> 